What's up you guys, it's Pitbull Torres. So today I have a big announcement to talk to you about today. I'm gonna change my best friend's life through a weight loss transformation journey. We're gonna take you guys step by step, just raw, uncut, how to get there. Because a lot of you guys, not like not him sound mean or anything, but it's like 80% of the world is overweight, especially in the United States. So this, I feel like this video is gonna be for a lot of people. So we're gonna start with my best friend, Mookie. Where we're gonna do an intro, get to know him a little bit more, his side of the story on how he started being overweight, you know, all, all, the, all the trials and tribulations. And pretty much we're gonna take you guys with us so we could document everything so you guys can see the process of what it takes to change your life through weight loss transformation. It's gonna be a journey with this weight loss. Nothing comes easy, man, for sure. That's why we brought the camera out. We're gonna document all this for you guys so you guys can see it's not no overnight success. This is gonna be a journey, a long one, a hard one. Yeah, so this is definitely gonna be a journey. It's gonna be a lifestyle change. Nothing comes easy overnight. It, it takes time to change your mindset too. Also, we're gonna be going over lots of mindset because everything has to do with your mind. Your body will give out before your mind does. Diet, mindset, training, the lifestyle changes. You gotta surround yourself with better people. You can't be surrounding yourself with people that are eating junk food every day and you're overweight. It's just not gonna work. So you're gonna set yourself up for greatness. I hope you guys are ready for this weight loss transformation journey. I think my homie's here right now. Big Mook. What's up, Pat? What up, homie? You just post up right here. Show. What up, what up? So this is the homie Mookie right here, man. Longtime friend. I've known this guy since elementary school. Since El Camino Real, like freaking third grade, I've known this guy. Went to the same middle school, the same high school. We wrestled together. So I've known, we and this guy go way back. I've known this guy way back. And you could just introduce yourself. Mookie, tell him everything about you. What's up, guys? My name is Mookie. Um, yeah, as Kevin was telling you guys, we're about to start this journey. It's going to be life-changing. You know, a little bit about myself. I've been overweight my whole life. I've always played sports. I've done everything to try to deal with this, like all the diet programs, different trainers. And it's kind of gone to this point. I think it's just, I need to change my mindset. And I got a pit here with me. And um, this is kind of the time I want to, I want to show everyone that hard work and dedication can really yield the results that we all want. And I think it's, this is the time of my life. I'm 25. It's time to make the change. Yeah, man, we're doing this because I've had, a, I've had, I've always been wanting to help Mookie for a long time. Like I said, he's been a, a good friend to me. He's passionate about lifting. He loves working out. But it, like I said, it's, it's a lifestyle change. He needs to surround himself with better people and his mindset too. It's a, it's a lifestyle change of his mindset. His mind is stuck the same way how it's been just the same little routine and everything he's gonna outgrow that like i said he's gonna get physically stronger and mentally stronger and that's gonna change his lifestyle his the mental toughness of all this and like i said he's showing it through hard work dedication and consistency this is no you know getting the lap band getting surgeries and mookie's mookie's gone um you know like he was close to getting that stuff done right didn't you talk about that yeah no it was um uh, i had all the consultations i met with the doctors i it was literally to the point where I was a couple weeks away from having the surgery, man. And it, it, when you do that kind of stuff, like you, you really affect your body and everything changes. So I think that I would rather change this naturally and not get cut up because, man, nobody wants to be going under a knife, especially at 400 pounds. So. Exactly. And they're not <laughs> like it's you're not building any strength through that period. They're just pretty much shortening your stomach so you can't eat as much but then if you stretch that out you can get back to eating all that food again so like i said there's no this i'm doing this video to start to a to help and give back to everyone that's overweight and wants to lose weight because like i said 80 percent of the united states is overweight so that's a huge population of people and just to show people this is straight hard work dedication and consistency we're going to be showing you the diet the mindset tricks i have the training, everything, just day-to-day -day stuff. This is all. This is all one team right here. Even the the guy behind the camera, he's he's done a, a lot up for this. So, 
it's gonna be cool just to see everything happen and it's a journey like i said that we're not in one two weeks mookie's gonna lose all this weight it's gonna take him years so i hope you guys stay tuned and join us on this journey you guys can ask any questions you guys want you can hit up mookie we're gonna have his instagram on all that stuff he's been in the, your guys' shoes because a lot of people see me and they're like oh you don't understand how that how it is to be overweight you or it's different for you to do this workout mookie's gonna be doing all the workouts some, some of the same stuff i do a little bit's gonna be different this is where he's at right now we're gonna do a, a weigh-in see where he's at on weight then you know weekly checkups every week we're gonna check his weight and see how much weight he loses and yeah we're gonna just document for all you guys and just, you guys get all this for free so it's cool i want to ask you a few more questions so that people get to know you man let them know a little bit about when you kind of started noticing your, your weight was like a problem it's like getting in the way and you know, just in your everyday life, like kind of when, when did you figure out that I was kind of getting up to a problem? You know, I was a kid and I, I always kind of was overweight. And then in high school and middle school, it kind of, it started reaching that point where it was getting out of control. And then uh, once I graduated high school, I was done with sports. So right when that happened, man, everything just spiraled out of control. I went from high school, I was wrestling around 260 pounds, and about one year out of high school, I put on almost 100 pounds, and then from there, it kind of never stopped, so. Yeah, that's, that's what happens for a lot of people, like, even for me, right out of high school, I stopped playing, well, I went to um, college football, and I played a year, but then after I stopped playing football, I was, like, kind of getting chunky, too, like, just, you know, I was losing definition, and I just kind of started seeing myself gaining gain weight. And I was like, man, like, what am I going to do? Like, I don't, I, football, I didn't, I never do cardio. I just played sports. So that was my cardio. Same with you. You just yeah. did sports. That was the way you worked out. And so it happens to a lot of people. And like for a year, everyone gets out of high school. You're young, you know, metabolism's all quick. And then as soon as you get to high school, you see everyone. Like everyone, majority either gains lots of weight or lose, loses weight, you know. So a lot of people are in your shoes with that. So that's a, that's a good thing. So, like I said, we're gonna start from day one, man. Like the most basic exercises, the most basic nutrition, because basic is what works. So we're gonna start that off, and then let me ask you another, a few other questions. Oh, that's why I want to ask. Like, what's been your biggest fear on pretty much like going to the gym? Because, like they say, it's hard just to kind of get started. But something, everyone always has something that's kind of holding them back. Like, why didn't you go to the gym, or you know, what's holding you back from <clears throat> kind of accomplishing your goals? What do you think holding you back? You know. If I had to like think, because I've thought about this a lot in, because you have a supportive family, like you know, I yeah. know your friends, like uh, other friends have tried helping you, but yeah. there's something kind of just holding you back, and you know, kind of want to see what's up. And I think, I think what's holding me back might be holding a lot of you guys back too. It's um, my love for food, man. Like I just I can't control it, and it's kind of one of those things that. It's always been there in my life, I, like this obsession with food, and now it's gotten to the point where it almost like controls me. And I think that's one of the biggest things Pitt's gonna be able to help help me with is yeah. show me this is what I gotta eat. Give me like kind of tips and tricks on how to change my diet to really get to that point where, yeah. where I need to be. Like I said, it, it's a it's a mindset. I don't eat all my foods for satisfaction. I eat it for results i think if i eat this meal i'm gonna perform good in the gym and i'm gonna take me one step closer to being number one in the world and that's what mookie has to switch his mindset right now his mindset is what's gonna taste bomb like what's gonna fucking get my mouth fucking like what wet you know so you have to switch your mindset to be you know what's instead of what's good what's best for my body what's gonna take me to my goal what's your goal you have to keep on mentioning your goal it's your mind your mind controls everything so if you start seeing food as as a goal you know it's as um it's a meal it's not for satisfaction you got to stop thinking that food is you know you can't you, got, you can't be getting satisfaction from you got to get satisfaction from other parts of life you know yeah so that's the lifestyle change you know you're gonna you gotta and it takes time it's not something he's gonna learn um overnight in a week two weeks three weeks even me i still go through those changes so it's it's a lifestyle change in a mindset so that's definitely good let me ask you another one i got another question right what's um what's like a normal meal like you what's like how many meals are you eating a daily right now like just all right off the bat like you may be having only one meal two meals kind of what's your i know it's kind of up and down but what's your, what's your normally intake on food like what are you basically eating on a day-to-day -day basis so like i don't eat breakfast one 
about so I'll, I'll starve myself till around like one or two o'clock okay. and then I'll have a massive lunch whether that be like a huge chipotle burrito with chips and queso or like two sandwiches from chick-fil-a and a large fries with some soda it, it's whatever it may be it's just a big meal from a fast food place okay and then from there you know I don't eat again for a long period of time I'll eat you know throughout my house like you know I'll have some snacks at my house and then at dinner I'll, I'll eat dinner at like 10 10 11 o'clock at night it's and, another big meal and it's a big meal it'll yep. be like two in and out double doubles with animal fries and yep. you know i'll eat that at 11 o'clock at night and go to bed around 12 30 so exactly so what he's doing is he's spacing out his he's eating in bulk and he's spacing out his meals by like four five hours you know like he said he goes to bed probably around like 12 o'clock one o'clock right now and then he's waking up around the same thing probably around like 11 12 or you're not eating till like one, right? Yeah, right. So, I wake up around like ten o'clock. Yeah, so probably 9 around ten, but he's not eating because he's, you know, he feels like I'm sure when you wake up, you probably feel like shit. Oh, I feel sick. I have feel morning. Sick. I'm sure the a lot shits. of people that are as big as me, they they know what I'm talking about when yeah. you wake up and you feel like you ought to throw up and from all shits the, the shits and everything. All that. Yeah. So he that's why he's not eating right when he gets up. He doesn't eat till one because his body's just not feeling good, but he knows he needs to eat. So he has another big meal. And that big meal just bogs them down because it's a huge meal. Like you said, you see the Chipotle burrito or Chick-fil-A sandwich with the oh, with, um, fries and a soda. So he's bogging himself down. That huge meal is just making your metabolism be like, holy shit, I got to burn all this food, you know. And he's not eating frequently, so his metabolism is already really slow. So we're going to have to switch that to eating, you know, l l uh, more meals but more frequent. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be eating a lot. You're going to be eating a lot, but you're going to be kind of tripping out because you're going to be losing the weight. But like it's the good, it's the clean, it's said, you're going to learn all this stuff. So we're going to tell the fans about all that. But yeah, those are the few questions I kind of wanted to ask you so, before we got started so people could get to know you and all that. All right, we're about to head to the gym, about to check his weight. Let's go. Today we're at SoCal Powerlifting, about to check weight. They got a legit scale here they do for the powerlifting competitions. First, I'm going to hop on there, make sure it's legit, make sure it's reading right, and then yeah, so from there, that's that scale that reads 400 pounds max. What we're gonna do is have the homie Mookie get on there, making sure if it reads him. If it does, great. If it doesn't, we know he's over 400 pounds and we're just gonna have to make our way from there. We don't need to find an exact weight, what he weighs exactly. It'd be nice to know that, but if we can, we're not gonna stress on it. We're just gonna keep on grinding till we see 400 pounds read or less on the scale. So let's check it out. Shirts and pounds, not kilos. I don't know. I don't know kilos, so I'm just gonna step on here with all my stuff. I don't feel like taking my stuff off. 189.3 with all my clothes on. For everybody that asks, how much does Pit weigh? How much does Pit weigh? How tall is Pit? I ain't gonna give that one away, but you know my <laughs> weight. So yeah, I'm like probably wake up around like 185. I have. I just had coffee, freaking breakfast, so. Yeah, with all my clothes, I'm 189. Now, I'm gonna have the homie Mookie step on here. See what's up. Let's, let's take your shirt off, bro. Let's get let's get as light as possible right now. We might want to drop it. those, those sweats on this thing. But yeah, let's do it right there. Hop on, homie, hop on. Right on. Oh, it almost. See, so look at, show him, show him. It says air. It went up, like I said, the scale knocks out at 400. At 400. But you know, like I said, we're not even gonna stress about that. Weight is such a mental thing. You can hop off on me. Weight is such a mental thing. You're always thinking about, man, I'm, I weigh this, I weigh that. Even for me, and I'm not even overweight. So sometimes that number just fucks with your head mentally. So don't even worry about that. We're just gonna keep on grinding week by week. We're gonna do weekly check-ins at the same gym, the same skill every week until we can get some numbers reading on there. And then that's the goal right there. So today we're gonna go through Mookie's assessment on his first day in the gym. He said he hasn't been in the gym in eight months, so we'll see what he could do because I don't wanna just throw him in there and be like, all right, do this, do that, when he might not be able to do a lot of exercises. Like I said, we're starting from day one, man. This is the very beginning. I know lots of people are, you guys are in the same shoes, same position he's in. So we're gonna take it step by step. We're gonna start with just, if you could even do a push up, if you could do a goblet squat, if you could do a lunge, so we're gonna go very basic, even jumps. Those are very good exercises too. So we're gonna take, take you guys through that all today. So let's go. 
All right, so we're gonna see if Mookie can do a push up first. Let's see.
dips. Exercise, you got farmer carries. Like I said, it's just carrying a heavy object both next to your side, going back for at least 20 yards and back. Let's go, Moogie. Shake it up, baby. Just walk. Just walk the park, baby. Yeah, hey, keep it going, keep it going. Just walk the park, baby. There it is. He's starting off with 44 pounds in each hand. Like I said, he already is carrying lots of weight, so that's lots of weight for him. Keep it going, Moogie. To the trash can and then turn around. You're good, you're good, come on. <coughs> Turn around. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, baby. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Day one, baby. Day one. Let's go. There it is. There it is. Good. 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 Been a while. There it is, bro. Been a while. Good, man. See, we're gonna do shit just like this. Bro, we did that's that, that's eight exercises. But we're gonna circuit them. Yeah. You did one you did one one round of a complete total body workout. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but the next workout we're gonna do, we you you completed one, we're gonna go two rounds. The next time it's gonna be three rounds. And like I will tell people, this doesn't get easier. This work will always be work. It's hard. If I did this, I would be hard with body weight. It's your mindset. You get stronger in your mind. You get physically stronger and mindset stronger. So that's what he's building. He's not building only his physical appearance. He's also building his mental appearance too. So yep, mindset, baby. Good shit today, man. Think about that. You'll get it. Yeah. And that first time you get it, you'll be like, fuck yeah. That's how I, yeah, I did it. Exactly. Hell yeah. It, that's, I mean, it's, it's a great thing and it just gets better and better. Yep. So one of the best things someone told me, because he asked me, how'd you lose 125 pounds? And I couldn't answer him. He goes, you know how you did it? One ounce at a time. One ounce at a time, oh, yeah. baby. One ounce at a time. Man. Hell yeah. It's a journey. It's, it's a, a journey, good one, man. man. Yeah, yeah, you enjoy it. Appreciate hey, it, man. Personal therapy, that's what I do. Yeah. Quick and fast, right? Sure. Safest, everything. Safest. Yeah. Hell yeah. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, just wrapped it up. Day one, the weight loss transformation journey with the homie Mookie. He killed that shit today, bro. We did weigh-ins so you guys got the weigh-ins on there then we did a little assessment to see what Mookie could do he hasn't been in the gym in eight months so I had to go over assessment to see if he could do push-ups sit-ups jumps dips farmer carries all that and he killed him man he he did he did more than I thought he was able to do so I'm I'm happy with that it's just day one like I said this is a journey this is why we're making this video so you guys can follow the journey and join us I know there's a lot of people out there that have problems with weight loss and that's why I want Mookie you know he's my, my one of my good friends long time so showing you guys that it's possible through hard work dedication and proper nutrition and obviously changing that mindset so I want you guys to stay tuned with us let me know on the comments if you guys what you guys want to see more of you like comment subscribe don't forget that. And then Mookie, make sure you guys follow Mookie on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Mookie Yaz. Mookie Yaz. There you go. Follow him, man. Um, we're going to be dropping lots more information, so stay tuned. I want to give a post notification shout out to Romel Thompson. All the way from Brooklyn, man. That's mad love. I appreciate showing all that love. Man, if you guys want a post notification shout out, just make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your post notifications on. And like my most recent video, I'll pick one of the winners.